Um, thank you for the introducing words. My name is Andreas Kirsche. Um, I'm a passionate programmer and for several years now I've been investigated the questions how, uh, of how programming can be motivated and learned in uh, mathematics lessons. Uh, today I present my web application Convert Blinds. Like Sketchometry, this application is edu educational software. Uh, both can be uh, operated with the finger. <laughs> While constructions are sketched with sketchometry, they are programmed with convert blinds. Okay, let's start. I am sharing my window. There. At first, um, I will show you some quotes that, sorry. At first, I will share you some quotes that uh, explain quite well why the Convip project uh, exists. This is about the sense of construction description and their programming. Um, for now, I only focus on the last quote, which was made by Vollrath and uh, Roth in 2012. They explain here that there is no other way than to write algorithms in a machine compatible way so that the computer can process them. However, JavaScript has developed so far in the last few years, and uh, there are so many good uh, JavaScript libraries available that the necessity of machine compatible writing is no longer a problem for beginners when programming on the computer. Um, I would like to report about this today. For this purpose, I introduce the idea of the Convip project. The prototype Convip lines shall demonstrate the potential of this idea in further section. Finally, I show insight into the development uh, of the web application and finally give a summary and the outlook. Today, teaching uh, geometry is no longer imaginable without uh, dynamic geometry systems uh, like, for example, GeoGebra. The advantage of GeoGebra is that it allows to construct in a Euclidean way um, as it's as the construction of a straight line uh, through previously marked points uh, as showing here. In GeoGebra, it is also possible to output the a construction protocol of the construction steps uh, that already carry out. This is usually a post-processing of the construction. The software Geolog Win which was developed by Holland in the early 1990s, takes a different approach. In this program, it is possible to put a construction description in front of the construction. Holland says that this change of order motivates the construction description better. A research study carried out in 1994 confirms the usefulness of this order. However, it is also clear that a textual um, input creates a high hurdle uh, in the work, making the teacher a necessary assistant. To overcome this hurdle, there are different approaches to programming in the field of educational software. The educational software Scratch uses um, a visual approach to overcome the hurdle mentioned before. Here I have provided an algorithm for drawing a plane figure uh, in the Scratch language. The programming here is done visually. This means the blocks for the program are taken from a toolbox and put together to fit. Questions? <laughs> what does the Scratch Cat draw? I think you know it. Here is the corresponding output of the program. The cat draws a regular pentagon. At a closer look, the program is full of much mathematical richness uh, to be discovered but not in this talk. Here we want to focus on the toolbox of Scratch. The main advantage of visual programming languages such as Scratch is that all possible syntax structure are already given. So if a look into a manual is necessary, then we know which syntax to look for. Both the presentation of the construction description in the first place, and the toolbox uh, of a visual programming language motivate the idea for the CONVIP project. CONVIP. CONVIP is an acronym and stands for construction with Blockly. The corresponding web application are based on uh, the JavaScript libraries JSX Graph to visualize the construction 
and Blockly to create a visual programming environment. Therefore, these programs inherit the blockly oriented programming style of languages like Scratch and the dynamic manipulation of geometry uh, of dynamic geometry software like GeoGebra. This results in applications that make construction descriptions um, a learning element, but uh, which can also be used uh, to learn algorithmic thinking itself. In the following, uh, I would like to introduce the web application concept lines, which was developed within uh, the project and is currently under further development. Convip Lines is designed for elementary school. This means is intended to give elementary school students access to dynamic geometry systems. In elementary school, constructions are mainly done as drawings. In Germany, the so-called Geodreieck is used to draw lines that are in a certain relation to each other to create geometric figures. In this way, the students um, draw triangles as well as various quadrangles, especially rectangles or squares. Since drawing lines is the main focus in elementary school, Convip Lines offers these lines as basic elements. They can be drawn as free lines and also as conditional lines. This means lines that have to be related to lines uh, already drawn. With regard to algorithmic thinking, the application supports the achievement of an important reading in algorithms. This is that algorithms are um, read from top to down, uh, from top to bottom. Okay, here I will show you um, how the program is working uh, like a, with a slideshow. At the bottom right, you see a task. Uh, we want to work through it briefly with the application. We start with the event when of start geklickt. All instructions attached to this event are executed as soon as the start button is pressed. To illustrate the individual program steps, uh, I click on the start button after each instruction. First, we draw a line G. This line has two markers, a square and a triangle. The square can be used in the output screen to change the position of the line. The triangle is used to rotate the line in a certain way. In this way, for example, the line G can be placed directly on the grid, as is done here. We draw a second line, the line H. Line G and line H almost always intersect. The point of intersection is automatically named here with A. We draw a line K, this condition. It should be parallel to G. The drawn line K has to intersect with line H. The point of intersection is named B. We draw a line L that should be parallel to H. Now a total of four intersection points have been created. These form a quadrangle. With this last step, the construction description itself is completed. In the following step, something uh, I would say remarkable happens. The algorithm is being infected in some way by the output window. This means that the algorithm uses information which is in fact not available before the program is started by clicking the start button. In other words, the algorithm can no longer be interpreted without the output window. In this sense, the following instruction no longer belong to the construction description, but are part of an active process within the executed program. Um, can this be prepared in a didactically meaningful way? Um, I have decided to illustrate the break by changing colors and syntax. The work with the final construction is not done, um, is not done in green, like the construction itself, but in blue and pink. It is no longer drawn, but marked and measured. Okay, we will continue on the task. We use the corner of the structure rectangle to mark triangles. So we mark the triangle D1 with the points A, B, and D. And we mark the triangle D2 
with the point uh, with the points C A and D. For both triangles, we measure the area 41 and 42. The measured area is displayed in the upper part of the output window. Now we can change the position of the straight, straight lines and see what happens. We see that the area of D1 and D2 also changes. However, the values are the same for both triangles. This can now be a starting point for further considerations related to the symmetry properties of the parallelogram drawn here. About algorithmic thinking. The second task is intended to show how the application deals with a wrong order in a sequence. We start by drawing a conditional line H. But since there is no other line already drawn, the selection menu is empty. We click on the start button and uh, get a feedback of the application. An object to be um, selected is missing. The idea is now to draw a line G. This line now appears in the drop down menu of the considerate condition. A click on the start button leads to the feedback that the construction description is still wrong. A condition is defined with a line that will be drawn later. So here the line G, which is defined after the line H. In this context, the user learns that instructions have uh, to be put into a certain order. Okay, did you like this application? You would like to use it in your classes or at the university, then just visit my website www.convertlines.de uh, or follow the links presented here on the slides. Um, you will find the presentation also in the Moodle room. On the website, you will find the current version of Convert Lines as well as a video tutorial, which should give you an easy introduction uh, to working with the application. You will also find an example of how the application can be used in upper elementary school. The teaching proposal considered here is certainly also suitable for the beginning of the secondary school. You will also find more information about the project and other uh, applications being developed within this project. The so-called Convip product family consists of the application Convip lines, Convip coordinates, Convip modules, and Convip programming. They are created for several tasks during the whole school curriculum, which uh, with the global goal to obtain programming skills in a geometric context. Now, I uh, would like to use the remaining time to take a quick look uh, behind the scenes. How does the application actually work? Let's have a look at the program we wrote before. It is characterized in particular by the fact that the essence of the algorithm clearly comes to the fore. So we see draw a line G, draw a line H, and so on. This JavaScript code generated by Blockly is intended to illustrate that translation into a more machine compatible language leads to a loss of this clearness. This uh, approximate 50 lines of the program code represents only the tip of the iceberg due uh, to the call of further internal functions. By the way, the generated JavaScript is so much because, for example, randomized points are generated to define the lines. Furthermore, as already mentioned, intersections of all intersections lines are automatically generated. And finally, because uh, of the connection between GSX graph and Blockly, which manifests itself, for example, uh, in the dynamically field, uh, in the dynamically filled selection menus of the marking elements. <laughs> However, even in this code, we find familiar syntax from JSX graph library. Here in the first line, the initialization of the board. And further down, we find the GSX graph code used to mark the triangle D2. Here you see create polygon by the points D, point B, and point A, and um, some properties uh, collected in the curly brackets. Finally, I want to show how can Blockly enable, uh, how we can Blockly use 
to make this code. At first, um, there is a definition of the blocky block element. In the considerate example, this is the block that defines the condition Z is senkrecht zu. The definition can be done in JSON syntax. The argument message O in line 163 contains the string, which can be uh, also read on the blocky block element. The percent one parameter is the first argument, which is formulated in the list args O, uh, beginning in line 114. This JSON template is now used to initialize the blocky block element convip condition perpendicular. This is done here in line 11. The function generate options defined in line 14 is used to dynamically adapt the selection menu. This ensures that only the lines given in the construction description appears in the selection menu. In the third step, the blocky block element is added to the application's toolbox. This can be done, for example, via corresponding HTML page. In the XTML tag toolbox main, the block of the type convip conduction, uh, condition perpendicular is simply included in line 81. Now we have um, to tell Blockly how to create ja um, a JavaScript snippet from this element. This is done with the module Blockly JavaScript. The needed object parameter block of the function defined here in line nine has the method get field value, C line 11, which reads out the value of the selection menu of the Blockly block element convip condition perpendicular. The initialization of the workspace here with the name main workspace is done in the analog way of the initialization uh, of GSX graph showing before. Here various parameters can be activated or deactivated. From this main workspace, the JavaScript code generated by Blockly can be read out with the method workspace to code and executed as appropriate. The developers of uh, Blockly have come up with a small feature that supports uh, the user of the library at least in steps one, two, and four. With the help of the Blockly block developer tools, you can create Blockly block elements yourself within a Blockly environment, like here. These are then indirectly outputted in a JSON format, shown here, and uh, also a template for uh, the JavaScript um, uh, code is uh, generated. This was a short uh, look into the development of the application, and now let me summarize. With convip lines, working with dynamic geometry software should become possible in elementary school. Therefore, it is useful to use straight lines as basic objects within a uh, line geometry. The students take their first steps in algorithmic thinking by programming geometric construction outlook. Further steps in the development of the application. Um, further tools have to be added, uh, for example, mappings like the axis reflection, um, the diagnostic module, it's to be created, which in particular also answers questions such as um, how, how two considerate figures, uh, no, sorry, have two considerate figures the same area or are two considerate lines parallel. Internationalization is also important here. Blockly has already developed an interface uh, with which uh, the Blockly blocks can be translated quite comfortable. Finally, another problem is the layout of different devices. So I was able to develop a good version for tablet PCs in addition to the desktop version. Here you see the toolbox appears in the lower area. However, the version on the smartphone requires a separation of the workspace and the output window. Furthermore, there are problems uh, with the handling of the toolbox within the workspace. So maybe you have some ideas to handle this problem. Thank you for your intention. <laughs>